Sometimes it's hard to keep up with everything since I have all this construction happening. My responsibilities are pulled in many different ways. Hi guys, come on out. Wake up, wake up, wake up wherever you are. Hey Inks, let's go over here. Holy smokes. Let's get this turtle set up. I think this is a good place to get them going. What do you guys think? That's a beauty. Okay. There you go, sweet pea. Let me help you. Nice and easy. What do you guys think? Would it be a good idea to fence this whole thing in? I love it. Hey, what's going on everyone? Ken in here and I want to give you guys a bit of an update. It is warm again in Florida. Eh, 60s. And uh, gonna get up to the 70s today. We've got tortoises motoring around here. Everyone's back out. But here's what's going on now. The guys are working hard to finish up this massive gator enclosure. I wanted to give you an update. This is probably the uh, home stretch for this thing right now. They gotta sink these posts into the water and then we're gonna backfill it. We're gonna backfill it and make sure that it's actually secure. So what's gonna happen here is this is gonna wind up being the end of the pond. All right, that's all gonna get filled in. This is gonna be the end and all this, look at this enclosure guys, double fenced all the way around it is going to be amazing these gators are going to be very happy snaggletooth and dale are going to be real happy in here massive massive enclosure so i'm i'm really excited natural earth bottom they're going to be able to dig and do everything they got to do so the guys are kind of on the final push we're just going to sink two posts here today and then we have to make sure that the um we've got to make sure that uh, they're even and they kind of have far to go down into the water, don't they? That is gonna be something, holy smokes. It's a major construction project here, but um, I'm excited. So there's something else I'm gonna do also today. Uh, we gotta bring the Badiger and Fly Rivers and put them back in the wreck pond. But you can see here, there's a little red foot tortoise, just checking things out. Now, here's what's going on. You see this area right here? Check this out, this is what I wanna show you. I think you guys will dig this. I wanna know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, look at all this, how cool. This whole enclosure, it is huge. It is gonna be awesome, man. So I wanted to um, spare no expense for these gators. And then we also have to remember that we've got the Cayman in March that we have to build. We're gonna have the Aquascape guys here. But check out what I've done. You see, I've, I don't know if you've seen this, but I've added some higher areas to this wall. Okay, look at this. Some more little fencing there. A little more fencing here and some fencing there. What I'm gonna do, and I wanna know if you guys think this is a cool idea, is I'm gonna fence from the Salcatas all the way to the house. There's gonna be a fence that'll look like that and there'll be a gate. And that means this whole area right here is going to be an enclosure. This whole backyard will be one giant enclosure with the rec pond. Of course, I'll have a fence there. But what I was thinking is during the warm months, during the summer, I've got like 33 redfoot tortoises, plenty of weeds and ferns growing up here. But I was kind of thinking, guys, what if I opened up and made a ramp for the redfoots in the summertime they could kind of walk up this area and walk around the entire backyard they would have a heap of room to move around i think that would be pretty sick don't you guys think i think that would be one of the coolest things we could do for all these tortoises so we could potentially be seeing tortoises up on the patio when i'm hanging out they can walk all over, they'll eat weeds, they'll eat some of the plants, they'll keep things nice and mowed down. They'll be my little uh, yard workers, my gardeners, and I think that would be cool. What do you guys think? I don't know, I think it's gonna be awesome. Um, they don't lay eggs in the summer, they lay eggs from September until now. So I think that might be cool and just bring them back in here when it's egg laying season and when it gets cooler, so it's easier for me to round them all up. I think that would be awesome. The other cool thing is the Badiger and Fly Rivers would also be contained to this one area. So I'm pretty excited about that idea. 
So right now these guys are trying to jet. They're taking a pump and they're trying to jet in these posts. It's gonna be tough, but these guys are pros, man. So we'll see what happens. It should be cool. Wild. I'm gonna let them get to it. What we need to do is we need to get some of our turtles back into this pond. I'll show you what's been happening with them with all this cold weather. We've got so much construction going on here today. But let's get right to it and get these animals back out where they belong. I'm gonna go open things up and uh, I'll be right back. Let's go in and see how the turtles were doing. I had to keep these guys in tubs because of course it was extremely cold. It got down to 27 degrees here, which is just insane. That is the absolute craziest I've ever seen it here in Florida. So um, yeah, not a fun time to be a turtle or tortoise. So they are in my least favorite room. We've got Inky in here and I did release all the other animals so far, but here are uh, the big Badiger female and a Fly River Turtle. <laughs> I did put this little dude. He's sunbathing on the back of a Fly River. And then here are the other two Badiger. And we still have the baby rhinos that will be sent this coming week. Uh, hopefully the weather is good. I'll be able to send those animals to their owners. I just want to say thanks for waiting. I can't send them in the cold. Uh, I know it's a pain in the neck. You guys have been waiting for a while, but thank you for your patience. But let's go ahead and get some of these turtles all carted out and over to where they're going to be living. This is kind of a, it's kind of an ordeal, but it's a fun one. I love um, putting these animals back out. Let's get those two Badiger males and uh, we'll put them in this cart and we'll run them on over to the uh, front pond so hang tight let's do it put you guys right here there you go oh yeah oh yeah that's everything we got everything under control oh boy these boys oh my god these boys are looking good oh let's put him in there Now this guy here, I think I could get a fly river on there. Hold on. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful animal. Let's gently put him on top of them. And now we'll wheel them on over. So since I had these guys out, I thought it was a good idea to kind of just Put some acroflavin in the water in case they had any issues. Just a preventative little measure to make sure that they're doing okay. Um, and so far so good in the rec pond. Remember these guys do like to have mud. We don't have a lot of mud in the rec pond. So I wanna make sure, uh oh. Wanna make sure this guy don't get out. Don't you go getting out on me. Let's go over here. Holy smokes. Let's get this turtle set up i think this is a good place to, to get them going what do you guys think let's see if i can lift it with one hand without getting hurt or bitten by them oh oh my gosh that's beautiful that's a beauty okay let's go ahead and put you right down here little one. Oh, go ahead go ahead there you go nice job Woo, he's got to let some air out Woo, awesome let's get this next one let's do a fly river Let's do a little fly river. Hang on, little fly boy. Well, I gotta be careful. Oh boy, okay, easy, 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 easy. There you go, right in. Awesome. Oh, thank goodness. I love seeing them back in the ponds. It's so much fun to see the fly river swimming around this wreck pond. Okay, you're up, little buddy. Oh my God, that's a heavy turtle, look at that. Oh, I'm straining. Okay, oh, easy, sweetie. Right down you go. 
Okay. All right, let's go get the female in the last fly river. And that'll be good. Then we'll just check around with everybody else just to make sure everyone else is doing well here. Like I said, awesome day. Gonna be in the 70s, dropping into the 60s at night. Perfect for these animals. Everything's gonna warm up. Woo, winter was tough, man. It was like three days. It's a tough winter. Tough winter here in Florida. Now we probably will get another cold snap at some point, but I don't think it's gonna be as cold as it was. January is usually the worst month. Oh my God, look at this girl. Oh, this was not easy. Oh, look at her. She is huge. Holy smokes. And then of course, the littler fly river turtle. All right, let's bring them in. It never stops. It never stops. The work is always going. So what I'll do after the video is I'll drain those tubs, wash them out, and then have them ready for the next time I need them. I like keeping things ready. We got this dirt that's gonna be filling in that hole out back. Oh, let's go somewhere else and let these guys go. Somewhere it's easier to let go a big, heavy. I think that turtle's close to 70 pounds. That's a big girl, don't you think? All right. What do you guys think? Would it be a good idea to fence this whole thing in? I love it. I think it's gonna be awesome. But I love hearing from you all. So just let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna set you guys up right here. And then I'm gonna go on the other side and I think we'll let these turtles go over here. All right, here we go. Whoa. I hit a rock. I guess I can go right here. Okay, big mama. Let's get this big girl out. Oh, she wants to bite me. Ah! But this is gonna be a good spot to let her go. There you go, sweet pea. Let me help you. Nice and easy. Oh, I don't want her to clunk on anything in there. And then of course, our fly river turtle. Right here. Such a beautiful species. I really love these turtles and seeing them swim around this pond, it's so awesome. Okay guys, go ahead. So there you have it. The fly rivers and the badger are back in the wreck pond, swimming around. Oh, going under. Woohoo! Here they go underneath the good old tunnel. Oh wow, you can really feel her clunking. That's awesome. Here, maybe she'll come out this side. Let's see. I don't know. Here she comes. Big old lady. Oh, you got to twist your shell a little bit to get out of there. She's so big, she has to twist herself a little bit in order to get through. That is just cool, man. What a beautiful, beautiful animal. I'm so excited. All right, everyone. We got some work done today. Let me just go ahead and sink it and see if I can just get a little visual. There you go. Wow. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna let these animals do their thing. There goes the male swimming around. So cool, man. All right, they are done. These guys are working out back, holy smokes. This is major stuff going on here. This is not cheap, let me tell you. We're getting into another level of enclosure. These have to be built so strong because these are animals that, you know, could potentially hurt somebody. Um, I've been tearing this out. I'm gonna tear, take this out and move it. So what I did was I put Pinky, let's go open their doors. We gotta open the animals' doors. I put Pinky in um, where Crazy Sophia and Stumpy used to live. I've just got so much stuff going on, man. There is so much happening here at the camp. Sometimes it's hard to keep up with everything since I have all this construction happening because my 
my responsibilities are pulled in many different ways. Hi guys, come on out. Time to come out, wake up, wake up, wake up wherever you are. There is Guapo, hi buddy. And then just over here, we have the new, the new inky, uh, temporary inky hangout. Let's see what she's up to. Hey Inks, what are you doing boo boo? Come on out. So she's out here, I'm gonna set up her tub today. So we're gonna have water in here for her. She's only just been moved in. Since it's warm, I'm gonna move some of the other animals back into their habitats. And there you have it. That's what's going on here at the good old camp. I hope you guys had fun watching me wander around, showing you what's going on. Gators are coming extremely soon. We are gonna be moving them very soon. And of course, we're gonna document that whole thing for you. We're gonna show you everything that happens. We're gonna get these animals to their new house once it is completely done. All right, let me know what you think of some of the ideas I mentioned here in this video, um, you know, with the red foots, and let me know what you think about those Badiger and Fly River turtles and enclosing that whole area. I think it's gonna be awesome. Um, again, there is gonna be habitat here for Cayman in the coming months, but right now it's all about getting this thing set up and finished, so. That's what the guys are doing. Uh, thanks to everybody who's supporting the channel. And uh, once more, all my animals are home and we're gonna have some new animals that we're gonna call family real soon. See you guys. Man, this is not an easy job. These guys are busting their butts. We got one down. Now they gotta get this other pipe, this other post jetted into the water. Then we're gonna backfill it. This is definitely the biggest, most elaborate enclosure I've ever had built here at the camp because these are some big animals that are gonna need this help. Oh my gosh. Crazy stuff going on.